Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for assembly today. I've lit the candle to remind us that Jesus is with us when we worship. We do this every time we meet for assembly, but what exactly does it mean when we say that Jesus is with us when we worship? We can't see him in the room in the way we can see the person sitting next to us or even someone further away. We know that there was a time when Jesus was very definitely in the room. The Bible tells us that Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth and there are lots of witnesses to what he did as an adult before he died on the cross, rose again and went back to be with the Father, God the Father in heaven. But all that was a long time ago. And yet, Christians believe that Jesus is still present, right here, right now, through the Holy Spirit. How does that happen, I wonder? We're going to start today by looking at some pictures. I wonder if you've ever heard the expression, a picture speaks a thousand words. Often, a picture can help us think about something that would be very hard to explain if we could only use words. Pictures can also help us remember things. I wonder if you can guess or remember which story about Jesus these pictures are trying to tell. So here in this first one, we've got a picture of a manger and two people next door to it, next to it. I think that might be the nativity. And what about this next one? Loaves and fishes. What does that remind you of? A big picnic. Jesus fed the 5,000 by the Lake of Galilee from just five loaves and two fishes and there was enough to feed 5,000 people. What about this one? Jesus is riding on a donkey and hey there's someone there spreading out a cloak. It must be Palm Sunday. And here's the last one. Jesus is sitting round. How many people can you count? One, two, three, four, five. I think this might be Jesus at the Last Supper. You probably noticed that Jesus looks different in each of these pictures where he appears. Most of what we know about Jesus comes from things that were written down around the time around the time or soon after he was living on the earth. But one thing we don't know about Jesus is what he really looked like. He lived a long time before cameras were invented, so there are no photographs of him. There are lots of drawings and paintings of Jesus, but none of them date from his own time. So to make a picture of Jesus, we have to imagine what he looked like. Some of the stories about Jesus are more difficult to imagine than others. I wonder if you can work out what's going on here. What do you think is happening in this picture? What do you notice about it? It's quite old. It comes actually from a medieval manuscript, so it's hundreds of years old. What do you think the people are looking at? How do you think they're feeling? Do they look happy? Or are they a bit afraid? This, in, this week in church, we'll be celebrating Ascension Day on Thursday. That's the day when we remember the time, 40 days after Easter, when Jesus went back to be with his Father in heaven. Have a look at some more pictures as you listen to the story. While Jesus was still with his disciples, he said to them, Don't leave Jerusalem yet. Wait here for the Father to give you the Holy Spirit, just as I told you he has promised to do. 
John baptised with water, but in a few days you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit. While the apostles were still with Jesus, they asked him, Lord, are you now going to give Israel its own king again? Jesus said to them, You don't need to know the time of those events that only the Father controls. But the Holy Spirit will come upon you and give you power. Then you will tell everyone about me in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria and everywhere in the world. After Jesus had said this, and while they were watching, he was taken up into a cloud. They couldn't see him, but as he went up, they kept looking up into the sky. Suddenly, two men dressed in white clothes were standing there beside them. They said, Why are you men from Galilee standing here and looking up into the sky? Jesus has been taken to heaven. But he will come back in the same way that you have seen him go. In lots of ways, it was sad for the disciples when Jesus went back to heaven. They didn't even get the chance to say a proper goodbye. But it wasn't all over. The disciples knew they had to carry on the story of the good news of Jesus. But first they needed to wait for the Spirit, which would give them the strength they needed to carry on without Jesus in the room. The Holy Spirit would come in a few days' time, at Pentecost. But for now they must stay in Jerusalem and wait. When we light our candle, we remember that even though we can no longer see, see him, Jesus remains with us always. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these opportunities we have to learn about Jesus together. Help us to trust in the power of the Spirit to guide us and give us strength to do all that we have to do today and always. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you'd like to, please join me in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for listening. Stay safe. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.